Hey guys, welcome back to just another dang how to channel where I create how to videos from Mac tips, web, software, Swift, Salesforce, and recently some game development. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a Mac how to tip. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert batches of HEIC to JPEG files by creating a built in quick action on your Mac Finder. On iPhone or iPads, the camera setting format is likely set to high efficiency. Uh, on this file format setting, it uses a better compression while still preserving high image quality. So pictures taken in this file format are saved as HEIC instead of the traditional JPEG. So it has a smaller file size. Uh, the problem with HEIC is that it's not widely compatible with other apps or devices. After transferring or airdropping the files to your Mac, and if you want to use the files to your other apps, uh, you would likely need to first convert it. As a remedy, uh, what you could do is you could change your camera setting format to most compatible. This increases the file size those uh, when you take pictures on your phone, but it would save it as JPEG. Now let's get back to dealing with HEIC. So after airdropping some files to your computer, so I have a couple of pictures here. Uh, one way to do this is using the preview. So after you go to preview, you could go to um, export and under export under file format here, change it to either JPEG or PNG and then save it. So imagine doing that for bunches of files. Um, so one way to better deal with this is by using uh, quick action. You don't need any fancy software. It's a tool baked in directly in Mac OS. Once you configured one, you can simply right click this file. So right now in a right click and select quick actions, there's nothing in there. And then from there you could um, uh, convert the file. To get started, uh, we just need to launch the Automator app. So you could open the launcher and by hitting command spacebar and type Automator. So once it's open, you have some choices here on the type of document. Select quick action and click on choose. Under the workflow received current here, change this to image files. Uh, you have some options to change the image icon here to customize it or customize the color later for that menu. Um, back to the first column here, go under photos and choose change type of images. So drag and drop that to this workflow section here. It's going to prompt you that it wants to make a copy. So just go ahead. So this would retain the original file and create a new version of that file. So you have two options here, uh, uh, copy finder items. So this is the destination uh, where those files would be copied. So uh, keep that as is. Uh, you can change it if you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna save it on the desktop. Um, change type of images to type. So this is the part where you could change the file format. So I could select PNG if I want to do. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna do JPEG. And basically, there's two ways to do this. I could either export this uh, quick action, uh, but that takes a like two more steps to do. So I, the quickest that I found is just simply saving it. When you save it, um, give it a name. So I say convert HEIC to JPEG. And then hit save. Simply saving it would create a entry in the extensions here. So if I go to system preference and open extension, if I go under finder, under quick action, you would see there's a new uh, entry here with that image that we just selected for there. Convert HEIC to JPEG. So let me close this out and simply select these two items. I'm going to right click, go under quick action there. And now you see this option convert HEIC to JPEG. So just doing that, I managed to create two files on my desktop. Uh, one thing to note here is 
the file size got bigger. So this original file is 2MB. The new file here, if I go under Finder, is around 2.7 MB or 2.8, round it off. So there you go. Hope you like this video. Uh, sweet and easy tutorial. Hit the like or comment section below. Uh, cheers. Bye for now.